rough crowd. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the fine city of Whiting. Um, you know, our city has been working extremely hard to put in place the amenities that are needed to attract visitors to our community. You know, these recent attractions include the Whiting Lakefront Park, Oil City Stadium, the Whiting Municipal Sports Complex, the new Whiting YMCA, and in the near future, the Mascot Hall of Fame and the Whiting Historical Museum. We have a lot to offer in our community, and we hope to keep adding to this list in the coming years. You know, Whiting is also home to a vibrant downtown business community, a world famous festival, and the longest running 4th of July parade in the state of Indiana. Hundreds of thousands of people and visitors from every state in the U.S. and from dozens of foreign company, the countries visit Whiting every year. These events and attractions are built by people for people. At the end of the day, our small but mighty community openly welcomes any and all individuals to come and visit us. So with that message in mind, we are pleased to join our partners today in announcing this exciting initiative. Zany, crazy, outrageous, hilarious, family fun. They're all terms used to describe Pierogi Fest, but there's another word that those of us who organize the festival want the annual event to be known for, welcoming. A simple but powerful term that relates to invitation, acceptance, and acknowledgement of a person's presence. Each year, Pierogi Fest draws hundreds of thousands of people from all over the nation and even uh, all over the world to 119th Street. The festival has won all sorts of awards, and I might share a few of them with you. For 10 years straight, uh, the Northwest Indiana Times Annual Best Festival, uh, TripAdvisor.com, one of the wackiest festivals on the planet, a Blue Ribbon Festival of Summer by Yahoo.com, Best festival for nine consecutive years, or I'm sorry, uh, named by Oprah Winfrey for five years straight as one of her favorite things to do, and one of the 20 best food festivals in North America by Savar Magazine. That's right, the ladies over there would be interested in Oprah. But today we're going to issue a challenge to seek yet another, albeit unofficial title, the friendliest festival on the planet. We invite you to come as a family, as a group of employees from a company, a small business, members of a union, local organizations, politicians or elected officials, high school classes, sports teams, groups of kids, adults or senior citizens, or just a group of friends and neighbors will work. With the crowds that we draw, we need lots of greeters if we are truly going to make visitors to Pierogi Fest feel welcome. You can shake hands or do the fist bump or just wave, and in a few minutes our lovely bushes are going to actually give us instructions on how to properly welcome people to Pierogi Fest. We'll provide official greeter sashes or large buttons that designate you as an official greeter. You can wear matching shirts, outfits, garb, uniforms, or whatever you wish. And of course, this advice is coming from the guy who wears a coconut bra and a grass skirt every year in the parade. <laughs> But we truly, we truly want everyone to enjoy themselves, including the greeters, as they greet our visitors. And if you need an explanation of why we're doing this, let me just turn the clock back to this past spring, when the Chamber of Commerce, in conjunction with WJOB 1230 AM, um, the voice of the region, took a leading role in raising public debate over a new state law, the Indiana Religious Freedom Restoration Act, because we believed that the law was ill-advised and would draw people away from our community instead of drawing them in. We realized that the continuing success of our thriving downtown and the attendance at our many successful events depended on making our community truly welcoming to all. So we took notice as well of the Community uh, uh, Civility Counts program, which was organized by the Gary Chamber of Commerce and the Times of Northwest Indiana. Um, and joined with them in creating this new initiative to make the region more civil, more respectful, and inviting. So once again today, we're announcing that we're joining forces in working to make our area more inviting and personally welcoming. So if you want to make Pierogi Fest the, uh, the friendliest festival on the planet, and in the process, make our area more inviting to live and visit, 
Please volunteer to be a greeter at this year's festival. Besides, you just might never know who you're going to greet.